Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming to my art space today. Uh, I hope you all have had a wonderful weekend uh, celebrating Mother's Day. Uh, it's been really hectic this week, and that's why I haven't really posted a video. But I thought I might show you uh, what I've been working on, which is my face journal, uh, mainly from scraps and what is in my stash. And... Um, I thought I'll show you uh, today uh, what I've been doing. This journal has been ongoing for a while. I've um, uh, I actually created it or made it uh, quite a while ago, like started uh, halfway and stopped. So what I wanted to show you today was a completed journal. And if I can get this uh, open. So this is actually some fabric which I... Um, I have left over and as you can see I've got knots in them the reason why I've done that is because I didn't have one straight uh, piece and which is fine it's just that it means that when I'm undoing it it's just gonna take a while but this is what I've done I'll just show you just you know even if you have different uh, uh, types of fabric if you want to join them up you can just make it into a tie. It just makes it a little, I don't know, homemade, uh, very old-fashioned. Actually, it reminds me of those uh, girls that used to tie their hair up and they used to bind their hair. Um, yeah, similar to that, right? Like they used, they used to use um, whatever was available to them. And so I like that idea. Uh, and this is my cover and as you can see here, so I did make this journal uh, out of uh, a lot of this scrap paper and also the map book. I'll show you here. This map book which I got from the op shop, was a, which was a bargain. Hang on. And as you can see, this was $5.00. And uh, this will last me for, I think, my entire junk journaling um, yeah, days, I would say. Um, and it's been a real uh, 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 blessing because I have basically uh, taken pieces out of there, a few pages, and uh, making this journal. Uh, so I just wanted to um, just show you, and at the front here, uh, I've used uh, my trusty uh, Fo Fomimo um, um, uh, label emboss embossing tool um, and uh, it's been a real blessing and if you're interested I'll put a link on my uh, on my uh, video so um, basically um, what I've decided to do is I would uh, I really wanted to have uh, scripture, uh, uh, Bible verses in here uh, so that as I write, uh, it will actually um, help me remember uh, the verses. And it's quite meditative in the sense that I'm writing it and I'm just thinking deeply about it. This one here, oh, actually, before I forget, this one here, is actually uh, what we call a master board. So I had some uh, index cards, if you can see. They, they, um, they were sitting in my, um, my cupboard and I decided I needed, I was going to throw them away actually, and I thought, you know what, I could use it as a master board. So I had all these scraps from uh, previous projects and I just decided I would glue them on. And uh, basically, you can use it in here, like how I've used it, or you can obviously cut it out and uh, make tags out of them or whatever else ephemera that you can use for your journal. Uh, and um, so that's what I've done. And a lot of these, as you can see, like all these hearts, they, they're fabric and they're scraps. Um, this one here, I... Um, decided to uh, posture it uh, and I have some brown paper and that's how I've I've um, yeah I've done it and this here is actually a coloring sheet uh, which I a color, coloring book which I got from the op shop as well 
uh, and again, I've used it um, and, uh, and decided to um, watercolor it instead and wrote verses on it. And that's just uh, the back of it, of that coloring sheet. Uh, I love using black. This is using Posca. A friend of mine gave me this. And it says, wisdom is the tree of life. This one here, to those who lay hold of her, those who hold her fast are called blessed. Um, I love that. And this is a postcard, uh, which I got from the post office, actually. Uh, it looked really interesting. And so I decided to just write the verse on here. And that's, that's um, something else that was in my stash as well. Uh, there's a little pocket here, and a friend of mine gave me this uh, laminated uh, press flowers. If you want to know how to do that, I've got a video on my playlist. And uh, this is also, uh, remember how I said that the front was a master board? Uh, and this is what I did with, with I had a template, and I, I just basically drew a heart as a template, and I cut it out using the, um, well, from the index card which I had uh, um, uh, done it as a master board. I cut out hearts for, yeah, just to decorate it. And you can use it as ephemera or okay, whatever shape. I mean, in this case, I've done it as a heart, but you can do it with, you know, circles or uh, flowers or whatever. So, yeah, um, do try uh, to, to do that. And... Um, so this here, uh, if you're wondering what this is, this is actually tracing paper. I printed on tracing paper, and that's how it looks like. And I've just gone around it and posted it. This is another master board, which I did, uh, and I actually um, put that tracing paper picture, uh, the picture here, um, and yeah, it looks um, it's different, but it looks I think it looks interesting. In, in terms of using up scraps and this was again uh, scrap in fact there's a whole lot of scraps that my daughter just uh, passed on to me and she didn't want them anymore and this was one of them uh, I like the um, black and white and I'm trying uh, uh, Bible hand lettering uh, so that's why uh, I'm practicing it and I figured that doing it this way is a good way to uh, help me practice my hand lettering. And that's just a prayer of peace. Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant me that I may not so seek to be consoled as to console, but to understand, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love, for it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. And that's from St. Francis of Assisi. What a great reminder. This is another master board that I made. As you can see, it's very random. But it looks good, I think. Um, this is just an envelope that I doodled on. I uh, just wrote the verse here, but I don't have anything inside at the moment that I, I, I have thought of what I can put in there. So I'm just leaving that blank for the moment. Uh, music shades are another one that I've added in here, which is, uh, it looks good in, in journals, I think. Uh, and I just thought, like, just journaling on the music shades itself, uh, it's actually really cool. Um, this was given to me by, by uh, my daughter, I think, when, uh, yeah, she actually knows what, what I like, actually, which is a blessing, and, um, uh, I thought I, I'll use that because it's great for like journaling. So if you, you've got, I think this was actually a scrapbook um, page. It was a huge page, the big one. 
and you can cut them uh, up. So I think there were six and they're great for journaling pages. That's another master board which I uh, made and there's, I like the, the contrast of the black. And just trying these doodles. Um, there's a lady uh, on the internet called uh, Alison Marie and she had a whole lot of uh, Bible hand lettering, uh, which I, I use for inspiration. I will put that on my link and you can check her out. It's a blog, actually. And um, just trying my hand lettering again. And I watercolored these. Uh, just rather than coloring pencils, I think that it's quicker. Uh, trying to draw something like a guitar but I don't know I'm not very successful but it's practice no one's uh, there's no rules right um, and again trying my hand lettering and this one here I've got a pen that it's like a sepia color or br it's brown it's not black uh, it's it's interesting I quite like it um, and this is a Posca, right? And yeah, they look good on, uh, on book pages. And that, I love white on black paper. And this is one that I've actually included in my signature. Uh, when I sewed it up, it's, um, I've included this. So if you've got black paper, it's good to add that to your your journal. Um, this one is an interesting one. I actually enjoyed doing this. She um, so Alison had this on her, but her verse is different, and I I used this one, uh, and then I watercolored it. And now see this. I made a mistake. So what did I do? Cover it up <laughs> with with something cute on it. Um, and this was uh, also, um, it came in my uh, daughter's um, stash, which she wanted to get rid of. She, did, she didn't want them, so I took them. And this is actually a stamp. And that's, and this, that's a stamp. And uh, my daughter recent, recently went to LD and she bought them. Uh, there's another one which I was going to show you. Or oh, maybe I've got it here later on. It's a little heart, which is cute. And that. So I'm trying different things, different ways of like maybe highlighting these uh, just to make them interesting. Um, you know, writing with different types of pens uh, because um, and different fonts. Um, and this actually works uh, on here, even though it's shiny, the white um, jelly roll actually works. I must say I love the jelly roll. So writing on here, mm, it's okay. I'm not really happy with the font, uh, the writing here, but anyway, that's fine. It's all about practice. Um, this one, I saw it a while ago and I've been meaning to try it. And finally, I got a reason to actually try it on here. Uh, I like the um, the pattern. I don't know who or who actually created it. It's been probably a few years now. Um, so yeah, uh, this is just watercolor, and that one. Ah, this heart here. This is a stamp. I like that. I was going to show you guys also uh, my Mother's Day um, haul, what I was given uh, by someone who really knows me. 
Mm, that's watercolour. That's another stamp that uh, that's really cute. And that's the last page. And as you can see, this is my map book. Now, the thing with the map book, it's, it's uh, not as flimsy as just normal page. And that's why it actually works with as a, a cover. Uh, and even on the inside because the paper is quite thick as you can see but not too thick that it's too hard to to bend them so I just wanted to show you also um, my stash or hole my Mother's Day hole so my daughter really does know me uh, she gave me these little dishes and they are so cute. Don't you think they're too cute to even use? Yes, this is a uh, uh, Maxwell and Williams um, brand and they are too cute. So I got one of these. Um, this is a black, I think. It is black and a stamping pad, which, because uh, I don't have a decent one. And I got these, which are from Spotlight, I believe. And they look cute. Um, I have uh, bought the uh, actual, um, uh, I think you call them the holders. I'll show it to you in a minute. Uh, some. Muji um, notebooks, of course, washies. Now, these ones are really good because um, they're not as thick as, as in the width. It's not as thick as some of the ones I've got. The thin ones are quite good sometimes because it depends on what you're using or what you're putting uh, on your page you may want a thinner one and this is a good um, a good one to have oh I've got two more here yeah so they're nice colors and these are heart stickers I think this one she got from the op shop um, I use these uh, for my Bible journaling now um, using them I like using these ones and like sticky notes to put them on the on my uh, journal number one is because my journal is small and even if my if it's a, if it's a bigger journal it doesn't matter I like using these because they 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 add interest to the page oh look at that yes so that's that one and these I think this will be wonderful to use and I've got some new uh, uh, stamps as well to add to my collection and look at these napkins so she gave me half and she took half and I wanted to show you the um, the stamping holder so I got these from uh, Kaiser Craft. Uh, so there's three sizes. So if you have a bigger um, uh, stamp, you can certainly use that. But the smaller ones, you can use this and this this holder thing. So this holder thing actually comes off. Um, I was really blessed uh, because I I went to Kaiser Craft to get some gifts for. Uh, my mom and my mother-in-law for Mother's Day and I had they have a special on the weekends 50% off and I got a voucher and so these were 50% off when I bought them which was such a blessing and of course I wanted to show you this came in the bag my gift bag All right and guess what it's not going to go to waste it's going to go in my box of 
recycled materials to use for my journal. I mean, it's absolutely wonderful. You don't have to use, you know, uh, expensive stuff uh, for journaling. You can use all your recycled things. Uh, thank you again so much for watching. Hope you have a good day. See you in my next video. Bye.